All right, so I hope y'all are having a really good day today. We got the newest edition of V Jump Magazine from Japan. It is coming out, and there are leaks, of course, and scans and whatnot. So I'm going to cover a few different things here on this video and give you guys kind of an update on what's going on, including the all-out rumble coming up in the Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 29. But first of all, I wanted to show you guys this image real quick. This is the cover of the fourth volume of the Dragon Ball Super Manga, the collected edition, of course, featuring our first look at official art. This is not fan art. This is official art of Vegeta, Super Saiyan God. It's right there. You see Goku, you see Vegeta with the red hair and the red eyes. And of course, we have Goku Black and Zamasu looking awesome. I love this art right here. And to me, the red's a little too red, but it's still the same kind of red. Like, I love it. Again, this is our first look at that. Now, obviously, these manga chapters are a few months old from when they first came out in Viz. I'm sorry, in V-Jump, but this is going to be the collected volume that will be coming out very soon in Japan. And, of course, our friends over at Viz are going to release it at some point. I don't know exactly when yet, no release date, but you'll be able to get your hands on this, the collected manga volumes, um, when that comes out. Plus, there's going to be a four-page Toriyama and Toyotaro interview, and I believe it's a new interview, so... That's going to be really interesting to dissect once it comes out. But there you go right there, folks. I love it. I love the way Vegeta looks right there. So next bit of news. Um, this is all fighter stuff. I actually wanted to point out. Uh, let me see. Right here. Fighters. All right. We're going to get to the manga chapter here in a minute. But fighters, Nappa and Captain Ginyu are playable characters. I don't usually cover video games here on this channel. That's something that Rhyme Style and those guys do over there. But... Um, I thought it was cool to, to look at this. Now, when it came to Nappa, I wasn't too excited about him because it's like whatever, but apparently he can use Cybermen. So that's going to be a cool little feature when you pick Nappa in the game. And Captain Ginyu can, of course, change bodies as well as have assists from the Ginyu Force. I love it. I think Captain Ginyu is a great fit for Dragon Ball Fighters. I know some fans are going to want some more super characters, but the roster is not even close to being finished yet. And so far, I like what they're doing with Captain Ginyu. Being able to swap bodies and swap HP, to me, is like, a, I think it's a cool feature for a fighting game. I really do. So, it's good. I'm glad that Captain Ginyu's in there just for the fun factor of it. And, of course, Xenoverse DLC 5 is going to feature Android 13 and Tapion, or as some of you call him, Tapion from Dragon Ball Z Movie 13 known in the West as Wrath of the Dragon. To me, that's cool because this is the first video game appearance of Tapion since Budokai Tenkaichi 3. So it's been many, many years. Like over, God, it has to have been like, what, 13 years since that game came out? I know a lot of people really want that game to get HD remastered. Um, but in the meantime, you can play as him in this game. So that's going to be cool. Um, unexpected. Very unexpected. And it looks like right here, the Pride Trooper outfit and Ribrianne's outfit is going to end up being unlockable. So they are going to still add more DLC to Xenoverse 2. Depends on what's going to happen in the future as far as how much more they're going to add. But if they're doing DLC 5, which is going to be a new... I guess season pass, it'll be season pass number two, you can expect some more DLC, I would assume, right? There's probably going to be more stuff coming in the future. Will we get Rib Rianne as a playable character? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Uh, Pride Troopers seem likely, right? Later on, of course, we don't know for sure as of right now. So that's cool. And then this is, of course, the first revealed Super Dragon Ball Heroes uh, card for Limit Breaker, otherwise now known as Ultra Instinct Goku. Looking badass, but... I gotta tell you, man, that face, I don't know, <laughs> That he's got one of those, like, we promise we won't rape you, like one of those, you know, one of those kind of weird faces, you know, I don't know, that face is weird, bro, <laughs> come into my house and have some tea, like, you know, I don't know, if, a little creepy there, but still, n badass nonetheless, and so I want to move on talking about this manga chapter. So we have some revealed images from the manga chapter. When I get my hands on the full manga chapter, which will be sometime either early next week or later this week, I will, of course, drop the review and let you guys in on the skinny. But, you know, last month we saw Beerus looking exceptionally good against the other Gods of Destruction, and the cliffhanger for the manga was the God of Destruction Rumble. Well, 
the God Destruction Rumble continues. And a lot of people were like, oh man, you know, Beerus is, the, is definitely the strongest God Destruction, definitely. And I was thinking, well, wait a minute, hold up. When you read that manga chapter, the rumble with the gods, with the gods of destruction is not over with. It's not done yet. There are still more fights. And boy, is this something right here, folks. I mean, Toyotaro, I've criticized him in the past for his storytelling. But his art and the way he draws fight scenes, first of all, because of Dragon Ball Super's time slot and because of Japan's regulations on television animation, Dragon Ball Super is never going to be super bloody. It'll have some blood, it'll have some violence, but it's never going to be at the level that Dragon Ball Z was, most likely. Anything could change, but as of right now, it probably won't be that violent. But that doesn't mean the manga can't be a gory mess. And there are some shots here. All right, here we have Vermouth, who is throwing playing cards at his opponents like Gambit. That's awesome. That is awesome. God, I love... I love, one thing I do love about Toyotaro is when he adds little things like this to make the characters cooler. I, why couldn't we get something like this in the anime? I would love to see that godly rumble in the anime. I think that's awesome. Um, but the manga, like I said, can be much more violent and much more bloody. Here, take a look right here at Shampa fighting Sidra, blood trickling down his head. We've got freaking, you know, all kinds of stuff. And the Zenos are watching it, and pretty much from what I gather... The reason why the gods of destruction are not allowed to compete in the universal survival arc or the uh, tournament of power in the manga is because the Xenos think that they're too much. So they want to get just mortals instead, um, which I think is a weird excuse, but cool nonetheless because it explains why the gods didn't have to fight on their own. Here we have Kitella with a beautiful uppercut right there, bro. He laid this son of a... He laid him out, bro, and uh, blood around his face. Here's Beerus, though. He's got cuts all over him, blood, and it, right here, it's Beerus and Kitella, and you know that these guys have a rivalry. More so in the manga, I would say, than in the anime. It's been talked about in the anime, but not so much. I would say it's more talked about in the manga. Here we have Kitella and Beerus face to face about to throw down and you know last month it was revealed in the manga that Kitella was the one that beat Beerus in arm wrestling right that was it was talked about in the anime briefly but really focused on the manga because Beerus was like oh I never lost and we said like well you lost that one time and it was to Kitella in arm wrestling not in fighting so these guys already have heat and that's not even including what the anime did with the whole universe 4 universe 9 collusion that whole little like plot they had to Screw around with Universe 7. You know, that whole thing isn't even covered in the manga. I don't know if it will be. Toyotaro is... We don't even know what he's going to do with this because it looks like the Zen exhibition match is not happening. But Goku versus Topo is happening. And again, this is all very preliminary. Dragon Ball Super dash France FR, the French website, they have these scans. And uh, when I get my hands on the entire manga, like I said, I will do a full review and talk to you guys about it. Um, again, right here, these dudes are about to hit each other, and then all of a sudden, the Grand Priest stops them with what? Excuse me, with one finger, because he's the Grand Priest, and you can't screw around with angels, right? And <laughs> I like this look right here on Catello's face, man. He's all bloodied up, and look at Shampo right here. Like these dudes were wrecking each other, bro. Look at the, all these guys are laid out, man. They are all laid out. They beat the, they pummeled each other. Here's another shot right here from earlier. Um, you know, just so much action. I mean, I cannot wait to read this manga chapter. If you're out there and you're sleeping on the manga, you gotta check the manga out. I still prefer the anime slightly, but there are things in the manga that I think are really cool, like Toyotaro drawing this fight. He is a great artist when it comes to combat. I mean, he really is tremendous when it comes to actual, like, combat. So I look forward to seeing, you know, uh, more from this when I get my hands on the entire manga chapter. And of course, Viz will have it up on their website uh, probably in a few days, absolutely free. So you can read the manga chapter without paying a penny on the site. It's a good read, it's a fun read, and then when it actually comes out in book form, I do recommend buying it because it combines everything together and it has bonus features too. So don't sleep on that. Our friends over at Viz always bring in the good stuff. So anyways, that's what I have for you today. More stuff coming up later in the week as we get more information from Japan. But 
let me know what you think about the violence of the manga versus the anime. Like, I like the fact that we might not get the super bloody violence in Dragon Ball Super the anime, but at least the manga will give us some of that, you know? And Dragon Ball's never been, like, the most violent, bloodiest show ever. I mean, there's anime that's way worse, but it's refreshing to see a more... I guess, a more young adult kind of feel to Dragon Ball versus it being just a kid's show, you know, which it's a show for all ages, but the manga really pushes its boundaries as far as violent go violence goes, and I love it. So, thank you so very much. Hope you'll have a great rest of your day. Remember to take care of yourself and each other.